friends and viewers you know getting into our program today we're going to be starting off talking about something fun and something excited that you should be a part of and that is a special you know good friday movie night and church of day out of resurrection service um, because of course we know it's easter coming up so to tell us a little bit about that i am being joined by the deacon of impact to impart ministries and that is mr dean cape as well as minister leo grant of impact to impart ministry good morning and welcome to you both how are you doing morning morning, morning. morning. Doing good. good yes all right so first of all tell us about just an overall what is the impact to impart ministries uh, well the impact to impart ministries is a church that was founded by now bishop sheldon holder in the year 2011 so for the past 13 years we have been a part of ministries um Currently, we have two branches. We have one at Union, and there's also one at Hamden, Lowlands area. Um, also, along with that, the church has been doing mission trips, and we also we went to Guyana, and we have two branches across there also, one in Baislas mm -hmm. and one in Yarrow Cabra. All right, great. So tell me a bit about some of your plans for this Easter weekend. All right, so this weekend, we'll be having, firstly, on Good Friday being the 29th, this Friday, we have a uh, movie night which takes place at the Ampi Theatre right next to the Scarborough Library there at 6 p.m. So what we want to do is to be able to show persons and bring back to the remembrance the reason for Easter, knowing that we are living now because Christ had died for us. So that's the Friday and he can talk about the Sunday. <laughs> Mr. Grant. All right, well, um, Sunday we're going to be having the church day out. Now, this is something that we would have done already. Last time we would have had it at the Black Rock um, Heritage Park. Um, this time we're going to be down at Milford Court, well, at least the playground area. Mm -hmm. So it's an opportunity for us to take church outside of the four walls so that we can make a greater impact with more individuals, you know, passers by, people who probably wouldn't normally enter into our church, have the opportunity now to take part and experience, um, well, Christ um, in their community. And what would be so special about that service that you all have planned for Sunday? Right, well, again, um, we're going to be inviting other churches, so it's not just going to be us. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to be involved in uh, having different aspects of worship. Some of them they will be able to do special items, those kind of things. And again, being able just to impact the community. The, the community at the end of the day is the main thing, the main reason why church is, um, or the main operation of church. Christ really did tell us to go into the highways and byways. So one of the things that we want to make sure and do is fulfill that mandate. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, what better time than one of the most important times on the Christian calendar, and that's of course, right. that's Easter. Correct, yes. yes. And um, so for the movie night on Sun on Friday, Good Friday, good Friday. Um, why did you choose to do a movie night on Good Friday? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. So there are many things that you can do to celebrate or to, um, you know, to show the Easter celebration. Mm -hmm. But um, we chose a movie this time. Well, normally... We always do a movie every year, but at the church. So this year we decided to bring it out in the open so that the public can also see it also. Um, so we're going to invite, as you said, other churches to it also. And of course, as you're there, you're passing along, your, you know, stopping your car to go home and all these different things, you can always come by. As you can see in the flyer, we have food items on sale too. So it's an opportunity for persons to pass and get a meal or something like that too. So. Why on Good Friday? Because it's the best time to show a movie. <laughs> <laughs> and what movie are we going to be seeing on Good Friday? Well, we don't want to give out that as a surprise. A, a surprise yes. <laughs> All right. Any sort of theme? The theme, well, of course, Easter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, um, you know, are there going to be any other things that are going to be a part of that? Um, either the, the movie night or, or Easter Sunday service? Um, on the Sunday service, we like to, well, our church loves fellowship. So, of course, there's going to be um, eating and there's going to be concert-like activities right after the service. So, we are going to really want to engage the community to come out also to be a part of that and join in, in fellowship. 
I had seen how fellowship can be, how fellowship can be good and lively and you know, not just about revelry, but having good and clean fellowship also mm -hmm. in a Christian-like manner. And why is fellowship something that's so important for your congregation? Mm, you can take that one. Well, um, what we try to do again is make an impact. It's right in the name, right? Impact to impact ministries. So you can't make an impact without people. Right. And Christ would have left where he was to come down and interact with people. He wanted to make sure that they understood who he was and what his mission was about, which was about spreading love. And mm -hmm. that's one of the main things that we try to do is spread our love, let people see the love that we have as a congregation. So <clears throat> fellowship and <laughs> one of the things our bishop always talks about is swallowship because he said you can't have fellowship without a meal. So we're going to make sure that people are fed, people get to live with a smile on their face. And one of the other things about this Sunday activity is that it's going to mainly be whole day mm -hmm. all right so even if other individuals go to their church in the morning that they'll probably more than likely be able to pass in the evening even if it's just to come and eat show your face that kind of thing mm -hmm. um, that's going to be all right you know we just want to have as much individuals involved in the process as as we can mm -hmm. and then of course you all are taking it outside um which is you know pretty cool in a sense um and and I, i'm noticing the time because normally when you talk about you know easter morning services and you're taking it outside you, you want to catch that sunrise because there's something special or symbolic about the sun rising and you're talking about Christ rising from the dead and so on. So um, tell me a bit about choosing, you know, 10 o'clock in the day for your start and taking it outside. Right. Well, 10 o'clock, um, as Dean would have highlighted, in mm -hmm. Tobago, we have two um, locations, right? One location in Union where we start at 9.30 mm -hmm. and the other location down at Hampden where we start at 11.30, 11 yes. right? So we wanted to kind of put it in between those two services so that both congregations, you know, it, it's, it's a nice in-between time for people to be able to get themselves ready to come up. Mm -hmm. um, so that is the reason for the time in particular. And again, as I was saying before, just Again, fulfilling the mandate that Christ would have given to us, being able to be outside is, is very important. Um, I, I think we've become accustomed to church um, being indoors a lot, right? <laughs> when you develop, you get your nice AC, you know, it's <laughs> hard to get you out of the comfy chairs and things yes. like that, right? But we want to remind the communities, hey, the church is still here, mm -hmm. right? The church is still active mm -hmm. and we care about you and it, it's... It's kind of a downer that in Tobago we are seeing this influx of crime. So we just want to make sure that we are speaking to it, that we are showing again that love mm -hmm. and letting people understand that, you know, the Lord Christ, he cares about you and you could afford to negate or put down the violence and lean more towards him. Mm -hmm. And then tell me about some of the, I mean, is, 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 are these the only activities you all are having for the weekend or are you planning on doing a little bit more? Mm, well, for this weekend, yes, that the activities, but normally throughout the year we have different activities going on. Um, I can see even for August, we are currently planning to have a mission trip to Guyana again. Um, so between August the 1st to the 12th, we are going back to Guyana because we haven't been there throughout the COVID period. We haven't been able to go to the churches and, you know, um, be a part with them, fellowship mm -hmm. with them. So this August, we are going back to Guyana to meet with the churches. And who knows, we might also plant some new churches there as we are there, get new pastors on, go, on board and, you know, start new ministries mm -hmm. for the honor and glory of God. Yes. And um, what, how can people get involved with your church? Oh, that's, that's very easy. So we are, you can either come to the locations, um, as we said, we, we fellowship every Sunday at Union, it's um, 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. And at Hamden, it's 11.30 a.m. So you can come to the services and speak to the persons there. Um, or you can call um, the bishop's number. It's 764-0463. Or the office number, it's 240-1668. And the numbers are also on the flyers that you can call and make appointment to speak with the bishop or the pastor or anyone who will, you know, be able to speak with you and 
we encourage everyone to you know come be a part of the church it's it's a wonderful church it's a loving church those who come and visit we always get to give reports of the fellowship and the love that you know the persons would have received the warmth and stuff like that so definitely we want to hear from you we want to want you to be a part of us and we want to share our love with you all right and of course as we um getting ready to wrap the interview this morning just tell everybody just a little bit about what's happening on good friday and what's happening on easter sunday and where they have to be so on good friday friday the 29th you need to be at the scarborough amphitheater it's going to have a good movie um good movie good movie for you good movie for the soul good movie for the spirit to encourage us to enlighten us and on Sunday to the 1st of March, Resurrection Sunday at Milford Court Playground at 10 a.m. We encourage you to come out and be a part of the fellowship, receive that dynamic word and get the concert-like experience. And also there is food involved, so you're not coming to, to starve yourself or to be <laughs> hungry, but you're coming and you're getting a good word and a good meal. And it's free. And it's free. <laughs> both, both of them are free. All right, great. Well, thank you both for being on with us so much and best of luck um, in for this weekend. And, and as you go forth, continuing to do your ministry throughout Tobago and the rest of the world. Yes, right, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, viewers, we got to go for a quick break and we'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. Go up on you, dawn and 